Singapore has confirmed its first case of the Wuhan virus. Singapore has reported a record 73 94 new COVID-19. 278 new cases of COVID-19. Malaysia's lockdown announcement caused some panic here, with residents wondering whether supply of food and essential items will be disrupted. Words are not sufficient to express our appreciation for so many Singaporeans going all out to fight the virus. And I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who's doing their part. We should make a decisive move now to preempt escalating infections. We will therefore impose significantly stricter measures. This is like a circuit breaker. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. More than 2.6 million eligible voters will go to the polls at the coming general election. We are fully committed to making sure that in everything that we do, our people, you, our residents, remain at the centre of everything that we do. It is in this spirit that we invite you, dear Singaporeans, to build a brighter and more hopeful tomorrow with us. Imagine, envision, yearn for and dream of openness, transparency, kindness and fairness. Make your vote count. And the kind of underlying uh, query is that, well, perhaps by moving to the left, we are being irresponsible for some. We have uh, East Coast, Singapore, we have a together at East Coast plan. We care at East Coast. I say, I'm hype beast. Height beast. Yeah. Beast. Yeah. Height beast. Oh, terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Doors are closed. <laughs> thousands of real commuters have been left stranded during the evening peak after a power fault on parts of the country's MRT network. Well, last night was a rough night. Rough night for me too because I also had an allergic reaction to something I ate. And then this thing happened. So it was a rough night for many people, especially the commuters. I don't know her. Because of your efforts, we are now ready to progress to the next phase. Phase three will begin in two weeks' time, on the 28th of December. So we will end the year with some good news. The Ministerial Task Force will explain the details immediately after my broadcast. And I'm very happy to tell you that after studying the scientific evidence and clinical trial data, the Health Sciences Authority, HSA, has approved the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine for pandemic use. We have decided to make vaccinations free for all Singaporeans and for all long-term residents who are currently here. The more of us are vaccinated, the harder it will be for the virus to spread and the safer we will all be as a society.